So as you can see, we're here at Chessington World Adventures today. Weather's not 100% great, but hopefully we'll still have a good day. I think we're going to head down to Chess uh, down to Vampire, sorry now, and have our first ride on there, and then have a way, work his way around the park and see the new additions for this year. As some of you may be aware, this is where the new ride is proposed to go, that little bit's building, new area to do with the Amazon. It looks like it's going to be a coaster here and two small flats. Nothing too exciting, but it'll be nice to see what they do with this area. It's like it's just been this empty grassland for a bit, and you can see it's got the beach here currently, so I'm assuming all this will be going. But yeah, it's quite a big area of land, so hopefully this area will be pretty nice when it's done and fill the park out a bit more. So uh, I'm assuming next time we come, we might see some construction change. As I don't believe it's for opening next year, I think it'll be the year after, but I could be wrong with that. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do with this area. We've just been and done Vampire, the Gruffalo and Rattlesnake. We've just come over here to have a look at Croc Drop, which is new for this year. As you can see, this whole area looks totally different now. Ramesses Revenge is gone. I mean, I did miss Ramesses Revenge and it's a shame it's gone, but this is a nice addition in its place. Looks fresh, this whole area looks a lot better now, I'd, uh, I'd say, if I'm honest with you. Had now a complete overhaul. Unfortunately, it's currently down due to the high winds that we're having today, so hopefully it'll open up in this afternoon a bit later and we'll have a ride on it. As you can see, the ride vehicle's just through there, I believe. Person moves out of the way. <laughs> so, uh, it doesn't look like it's raining really heavy on camera, but it's not actually raining that heavy, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to wait a while just before we can experience crack job, but uh, I think we'll keep working our way around the park. I 
Mega Rocks closed. I'm assuming it's due to the weather that we're having today. A lot of the rides seem to be closed because of the adverse weather. Shame really, but hopefully we're back either later this season or maybe not till next season to get on it. Uh, we might come down here one more time this season. We only usually visit Chessington once a year, but you never know. We'll see what happens. So it looks like our luck isn't continuing here in Wild Asia as uh, Cobra is currently down, which we were planning to do. Uh, it's to say it's down to the weather, but like I say, I'm not 100% convinced it is to the weather because it was open this morning and for the last week it seemed a lot windier this morning than what it does now. It seems to have calmed even though it is raining still. But so uh, I think we're going to head carry on round to Dragon's Fury and do that next then. So uh, we'll walk around there. So probably as you can tell, literally as soon as I put the camera down, Cobra reopened, so we just had a quick ride on that. Hopefully this means some of the other rides with the current weather delays will uh, be reopening soon. And like I say, we haven't been on Croc Drop yet, so fingers crossed that may open for us to get a ride on that today. As like I say, it's mainly the reason why we came here today to get a ride on it, but whoever has different ideas. Anyways, we'll continue around to Dragon's Fury next and walk around that area of the park. Off Dragon's Fury, and we almost had a ride on Crop Drop. As we were going up the chain lift uh, on Dragon's Fury, we noticed that Crop Drop was going round, so, so we came over here once we'd come off uh, Dragon's Fury. And literally, it sent about two two cycles round, and then now it's closed again due to the high wind. So, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we are going to get that ride in it today, which is a shame. But at the end of the day, I'm sure we're getting it next time we come here. Like I say, we might have to have another visit later on this year when the weather's a bit nicer and make a day of it. But to, uh, we will see. So yeah, I think we're going to head back round towards Vampire now and have a re-ride on that and take some shots of Dragon's Fury around that ride area and also have a look at the pirate ship as it's reopened for this season after it's refurb. So we'll take a look at that. pirate ship which is now named the blue barnacle i believe looks pretty good what they've done with it so far I'll take some more shots around the side so you can get a better look here's a 
quick look at the refreshed entrance for Blue Barnacle. So we just had not one but two rewides on Vampire, which is running great, might I add. The staff in there were great, let us stay on after his first ride because there was no in the queue, so they let us literally stay on the train and without exiting and walking around, which merely like you to do usually even if there's no one waiting. So it was nice but to actually have a stay on the train and go back round again instead of having to walk all the way around, so that was great of them. Like I say, staff on there were great today. I think we are pretty much done for all the rides and attractions here though at Chessington today. I think we're going to go ahead and look around the zoo next and then uh, wrap it all off at the entrance. So that's what's done here at Chessington today. The weather's not been great, as I say. We've not managed to get Croc Drop done and Tiger, Tiger Rock because of the weather. But all in all, we've had a good day. Tomorrow we're at Fort Parks. Look out for that video coming to the channel. If I do it correctly, this one should be on first, and then it'll be that one afterwards. Probably be about a week apart, but that's if I upload them in the correct order. But yeah, thanks for watching this one, guys, and we'll see you all in the next one.